Hey everyone, and this is how you can implement Google Analytics 4 into your Next.js 14 project. So first of all, do we need, we first of all need a Google Analytics, first of all need a Google Analytics account. And once we have that account, what we need to do is we need to go into the admin panel pretty much of Google Analytics, and we need to obtain the so-called measurement ID. So we've actually obtained that, we can hop into our Next.js project and use, use a third-party component called Google Analytics that comes with Next.js. And this component actually is going to take one single prop, which is GAID. And inside of here, we're going to put in our measurement ID. And this component is essentially just going to be put into your root layout file in order to affect all routes inside of your Next.js application. But I would say without further ado, let me actually show you how you do this. So for demonstration purposes, I created this little um, test Next.js app, which pretty much has nothing in it. As you can see, if we open this up in our browser, we just get the default Next.js 13 template page. The first thing that we will need is the is the Google Analytics component. And we first of all need to install that from Next.js, their third party library. And we pretty much just do this by running the following command. The link to the documentation is also going to be down in the description below. It's pretty easy to use and implement. So let's just first of all install this. And once done, all we need to do is just scroll down. We don't need anything in regards to the Google Tag Manager. We just scroll down until we see Google Analytics. We can also just use this little breadcrumb uh, to the right here. So we just use this Google Analytics tab. And then once done, we're just going to import the Google Analytics component, first of all, just like so. As you can see, guys, we're doing all of this inside. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger for you guys. We're doing this inside of the layout file in our app directory. And once we've done that, we can just pretty much insert this Google Analytics component. We can do this just inside of our HTML tree at the very bottom. And as you can see, guys, now it is expecting the prop I was talking about at the beginning, which is the GAID. So what Next.js is actually looking for is the measurement ID. Once you're in your Google Analytics account, all you need to do is just click on this little admin thingy down here and then we just click on this create button at the top left side of your screen and we just hit on property and then we can just give this property a name so for the sake of this video i'm just calling a test and i'm gonna just say next i'm gonna say small here then select the category i'm just selecting like something random but if you're using this like for if you're using this for a production app i would make sure to actually choose the right category same goes for this pretty much i'm just saying examine user behavior because that's usually what i do and now we can start collecting data now we can just click on the web thingy and it should automatically give us actually it doesn't yet so here you need to actually set up some random url i'm just doing example.com example create stream and then we actually already automatically get the measurement id right here now all we need to do is just copy this go back into your app and now you can just paste it inside of here just like so once we've done that we are pretty much done so let's say you already have a property and you want to find the measurement id again all you need to do is just click on this admin thing again and click on data streams click on your app and then you should find it again right here. All the page views and events are automatically being tracked inside all of your Next.js routes. And I have no idea why my terminal suddenly looks like this. Either way, we also have a way to track certain user interactions such as events and client components to send custom events, which can be useful. For example, if someone signs up, like if someone presses the sign up button, if someone clicks on a video on your index page, or if someone is actually just pressing a button, you can actually track that and create a custom event for that. So in order to do that, let me actually create a components folder and let's create a little client component. We just call this button for now. So let's just create this component real quick. So what we first of all need to do is we need to specify use client at the very top here because this only works in a client component. And then what we need to do is we need to import the send GA event again from the next third party's library. Let's actually turn this into a button real quick. And now in here, we can actually create an on click event, which we send an GA event. So let's just call this event for example button clicked and the value is going to be x y z actually we have to say event here this is an object containing an event and a value keep in mind that this send ga function only works if the google analytics component is actually included inside the parent layout page or component or directly in the same file so what we could actually do is we could create a route and then actually insert the google analytics component here to only track users on that specific page and to make the send ga function work now we could go back inside of our page we could get rid of everything in here let's get rid of this boilerplate and then we could just insert this button let's get rid of the classes as well we need any of that let's insert our component so let's first of all see if google analytics is actually loaded we do that by actually refreshing the page once and then searching for collect and as you can see guys google analytics is successfully implemented it should also be visible inside of here yeah google analytics as you can see and as long as you get a 204 that basically means that it's actually successful 
successfully collecting data about your users now, which you can use in order to improve your app. And now whenever we click this button, it is actually going to track this event inside of a Google Analytics console. So if you want to see all of your events, you can just click on this admin thingy again, click on data display and click on events. And inside of here, you will see all of your events as soon as they have gotten some traffic pretty much. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.